Alright guys, GS7 here and welcome to a, another video on this channel. Today I have the second team of the season prediction video and to yesterday's one didn't get as many views as I thought it might have done but I mean I want to keep putting out the videos nonetheless because I know some of you guys like to see what predictions there are. So you can see on the screen the first up we do have Roberto Soriano. Roberto Soriano is the Villarreal central midfielder. He has got a left mid card. I think it's because he moved and move position in the season and so they gave him an upgraded left mid card I do believe anyway or this might be an inform and um, he's played 27 games scored eight goals and got five assists but he's looked very very good he's got a 6.95 rating it's a bit lower than what you'd expect from some of them but overall that is a very high stat so next up we do have the man from Real Madrid who's looked very good all season he's a very very talented young player Casemiro I mean Casemiro is the Brazilian from Real Madrid and he has played in if I can get it up I'm about to he's played 17 games he's got two goals and zero assists but overall he's got a 7.23 overall rating which is very very good in the Santander because obviously only not many players do get much above that he does look as he's as Real Madrid are looking closer to winning the league it does look like he is going to take it don't know what I've done here but next up we do have Lemos the centre back from Las Palmas who is who's um, I think he joined this season I do believe they joined this season but he is a Uruguayan centre back, so partners up with Godin internationally. And he's played 19 games. He has got five goals, so a centre back with five goals, 7.21 average rating as well. So for a player who is there a mid-table club, I think he's definitely going to get one. He got an 85, but he'll have some insane pace on him as well. So that is why he has to be included into this. Next up, we have a Ritz uh, Duris. Again, even how old he is, he keeps performing like every single season. And if I can find them on the list, here they are. He has got uh, 12 goals and an assist in 25 games. One of the top goal scorers in the league. But I do just have a quick look on what he is actually in the league in terms of goal scorers. He is sixth just behind Griezmann, Aspas, Ronaldo, um, Suarez and Messi. So... Uh, he's looking very good and I think as uh, they'll all get in the team season he has to be included as well next up we do have Alvaro Morata as much as he hasn't had the best of seasons he has only got one less goal than Oduris it could be me putting in too many um, attackers strikers into this but they do like to include quite a few so I think putting Morata in is the right choice next up we do have Iago Aspas Obviously, as I said, Iago Aspas is fourth top goal scorer this season. 16 goals, only three less than Cristiano Ronaldo. He has played. Um, just give me the rope release stats. So, sound that their stats. So he's got 16 goals and three assists in 28 games. Been their top goal scorer. They're a bit off the places for the Europa League this season, but you never know. They look like they could still be winning the Europa League because they are. They did win at home. As long as they don't lose away, then they are going to be in the semi-finals. Of course, Manchester United is still in there, though. Uh, next up, we do have Felipe Luiz. Felipe Luiz, very good player. You can't take anything away from him after leaving Chelsea. Well, he joined Af Chelsea from Atletico. And he's gone back to Atletico, just like so quite a few players have done. And just perform well there. And he has played 28 games, got two goals and four assists. An overall match rating of averagely of 7.27, which is very, very nice. What you'd expect from a solid left back. Um, tackles 3.7, in the seconds 1.9. So very, very nice. And he has been included. Next up, we have Benyat. Benyat is a player that I don't know if I. He, he was a bit of a debatable one for me, but I was looking at his stats, looking at other players' stats around him, and it does look like he is the one to put in. He has, this season, he has played 25 games, only got a goal and five assists, more of a defensive player, and obviously I think he has to be included. Next up, we do have Gerard Piquet. Not much to say about him, apart from Barcelona second in the league, aren't they? He's going to be getting in the team this season. That's why I had to try and include some lower-rate players, because otherwise it's all too obvious. And then... 
Lorente, if I was looking at this correctly, which I believe I was, if I look at average match rating, Lorente is 10th with a 7.32 average match rating and considering he's playing for Deportivo and he is only 22 21 22 it is very very good that he is only just behind Bruno Griezmann and then the top players in the league so the Messi's and the Neymar's and the Kroos so he has to be included next up we do have Bruno Bruno again 7.33 ninth place Villarreal doing very strong again very strong season may even get the Champions League football if I'm right yeah, may even get it seven points off severe with seven games to go, so you never know. Next up, we do have Ronaldo. Uh, he's on the bench, but uh, he is. He obviously has to be included. 19 goals for the season for Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, obviously not as good as previous years, but 7.54 rating. He's only behind Suarez, Cruz, Neymar, Messi. So, obviously, Ronaldo in the best, but he is still up there. Griezmann, 7.34 rating, and he is the fifth top goal scorer with... 15 goals so he's only got less than Aspas, Ronaldo, Suarez and Messi so very nice next up we do have Suarez obviously Suarez has to be in there Suarez is tech and top goal scorer behind Messi but he does get a lower rating averagely 7.56 than Neymar um, next up we do have another last Palmas player of the name of Jonathan Vieira Jonathan Vieira is a very very young I believe midfielder uh, oh no, he's not young. 27 years of age, so he's not a young midfielder. But he's had a decent season. 27 games, 7 goals, 7 assists. Overall, again, a last Palmas player does seem to be getting there. Next up, we do have Neymar. Neymar, obviously, you can't leave Neymar out. He's the second highest averagely rated player behind Lionel Messi. So there's no way that he is not going to be getting in there. Next up, we do have Messi, top goal scorer. Is he top assist? Top... Uh, I can find it. Goals, 3-2... Top goal scorer, Messi ha isn't top assist, Tony Kroos has most assists, Messi has 7 assists, so Messi's 7th in that as well. But, he's 8.3 on average, Lee. there's no way Messi's going to miss out, is there? Next up we do have Rakitic, again Rakitic is a player who obviously plays for Barcelona in a attackive midfield role. But, he, in this season's league, he has played 25 games, 6 goals, 1 assist, so he hasn't had that much in terms of goals and assists but obviously he does have a 7.03 overall rating which is very nice next up Tony Kroos as I said top assists very very all-round player Sergio Ramos how could you leave Sergio Ramos out if they win the league he's gonna be getting probably near the top of the runners for the league's best player of the year he just always does because it's him he's their best defender he's their captain and obviously it's 31 years he's still going very very strong and could be on for I think it's just a double lane get now yeah and then Umtiti, Umtiti's been Barcelona's best defender by a mile um, as far as I'm aware in my opinion he's definitely been the best by a mile Samuel Umtiti and um, the 23 year old centre back who did come from Lyon last year I believe um, has played in a lot of their games, most of their games, actually only 19, I thought it was more, but still a lot, and he's been the best player when he has been playing. Next up, Diego Godin, Atletico's main player, and then finally, we do have Asenjo, player I do like to play with on FIFA, so a team of season card for him to put him up to a 91 will be absolutely incredible, but of course he's got to get it because he has been a fantastic all season for Villarreal, and they are fifth in the league, potentially going to get the Champions League spots. So guys, that is the predicted team of the season. Um, if you have any other players that you think should be there, please let me know in the comment section down below. But if you did enjoy the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.